What is up everybody? It is Wick here and we're gonna go look for some clearance today, do some retail arbitrage. It's been a while, stores are opening up again. We're gonna see what kind of clearance is out there, what kind of deals, see what kind of inventory that they're wanting to get rid of that I can buy and flip on Amazon or eBay or wherever, locally even. But uh, yeah, I just wanna go make some money. I wanna go out there, enjoy this day, do a little bit of treasure hunting and enjoy life. So let's go. I'm inside Home Depot, one of my favorite places to source. And there's some great prices on items, $100 items marked down to 25. Unfortunately, they're just not selling online. Some of this Nest stuff selling cheaper online than the clearance at Home Depot. That happens a lot when looking for clearance to flip online. Uh, it's just not worth picking up and selling. You just got to accept that sometimes, even if it's a great deal, it's just not going to be worth your time and you're not going to make any money on it. So you just be throwing money away and we're not here to throw money away. We're here to make money over at Walmart. I'm looking at the clearance aisle and everything's priced pretty high. You know, it's like that 10% off discount where you can't really make money on anything. So Walmart is kind of a bust, but we're going to look through it anyway, because you got to look at every price tag because you never know when there's something that's 75 or 90% off uh, that you can make some money on. There's a coin sorter. You can see there, save $16. Not good enough. Royal Sovereign's good though. I picked up some Royal Sovereign uh, coin sorters at yard sales. It sold for like $80, some nice industrial ones. So definitely a brand to look out for on uh, the used thrift market and yard sales. Bunch of pencils. Don't really need those to flip. I don't think pencils flipped online too well. People just go to like the dollar store to get pencils when they need them, right? Uh, they don't worry about buying them online. Checking out the electronics section over in Walmart, not seeing a whole lot. A lot of smalls just not priced low enough. And a lot of these phone cases and stuff like that, the cables, even at 75, 90% off, they're not worth picking up. So unfortunately, uh, just a bust over here as well for Walmart. So here's some of the clearance I got today. I got my photo booth up, so I don't have a lot of space on this table. So I'm going to do it in two phases. This is half of it. And uh, the other half is quite a bit, so hopefully I can fit it all on here. Anyway, we got three of these LED solar floodlights. I paid $15 and something for these at Home Depot. And uh, I'll probably be able to make about $15 a piece, maybe $20, depending on how I can sell them. We'll just say $45 profit here. Should be pretty easy to obtain that. I got these quick set keyless entry uh, door thingamabobs. There you can see kind of what they are. Uh, these were only $7 and something. So I paid about $8 after tax and all that. It looks like I'll be able to sell these for about $39.99. Probably sell them on eBay. I believe they'll fit in a padded flat rate envelope. So uh, it'll be about $7.52 to ship these. So I'll probably make about $15 a piece on those. So not bad profit. They should move fairly well. Got some rat traps. This was amazing because I've already sold these. I sold these within two hours. After I bought them, I went ahead and just merchant fulfilled them on Amazon. The rank was incredible and the cost was really amazing. I paid $3 for these. They were normally uh, $39.99, I believe, at Home Depot. Maybe less. Uh, I just know I sold them for $39.99 on Amazon or $39.97, something like that. And I made $25 profit on each one so an amazing amazing flip fifty dollars um it might not even have been two hours because i wasn't watching uh my phone because i was driving and stuff so it i don't know how fast these actually sold but they they, they sold quick and that is one advantage of merchant fulfilling on amazon is you can actually get money quicker it's easier to list things in eBay because the listing's already there. You just put in your quantity, but you still got to ship them. Still got to ship them. So that takes time. That's why I like FBA. I'd rather just ship in all my stuff. And then if I want to go on a vacation for two weeks and Amazon's selling my stuff, I don't have to stick around and ship it or put my store on vacation or something like that. But anyway, yeah, $50. Quick money there. I wish they had about 100 of these. Wouldn't that be amazing? And these are great too. These are spray tips for um, paint sprayers. These were all under $3. I think there's three different ones. Uh, I got six of one, I know, which is the good one. I'll make about $15 on that one. And uh, the others, I think I'll make about $10 profit on eBay. These are going to ship super easy. Super easy to list. 
and it's the kind of product I love to sell. Going to be some great profit in that. Let me clear this off and I'll put the rest of the clearance up here. So here we are. This is phase two of the clearance. There's a lot of nice stuff here. Really only three different items, but a lot of them. Uh, this Black & Decker cordless drill, 12 volt. This was only $5, normally $39.99. So I'm gonna sell these on eBay. I don't sell Black & Decker on Amazon because they will more than likely send you a email asking you to prove that you are an authorized seller or whatever on their brand. Black & Decker, Stanley, uh, they're all the same company for the most part. But I will sell these on eBay. They should, they might fit in a priority bubble mailer. Uh, I'll charge shipping on them regardless, just in case. But they're going to make some great profit for only paying $5 a piece on these. And then we have these Metabo, Metabo. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Used to be Hitachi, but they changed their name. These are some great drills. Uh, they're corded, but uh, they were cheap. They're only like $11. I believe they're normally like $90 at Lowe's. Uh, however, they're not selling really for that much. This is something else I'll just sell um, on eBay. Even though I've never had any problem with Hitachi or Metabo, Metabo, HPT. Never had any trouble with them. But uh, I'll just go ahead and sell them on eBay. When I ship them, I'll just slap a label on this box. It should be fine. Probably list them for about $50 or $60 plus shipping. Uh, they only sell for about $60 some dollars free shipping, it looked like. But still, I am not gonna, I got 10 of these. I'm not gonna leave these sit there for $11. It makes some okay profit on them. I would say at least $25 profit a piece on these in the end. And then these, I'm not sure, you know, if they were the greatest buy, uh, I believe these were about $12 or $15. Uh, normally like $50, but they're not, great sellers bad rank on amazon not a, a bad rank just a high rank like over a million in home improvement which does sell but the great thing is there's not any sellers right now uh so it's probably high just because of that no reviews either so i doubt a lot of them have sold on ebay they don't seem to be moving so um yeah i'll probably just try to like merchant fulfill these really i got four of them hopefully I can make about 15 bucks profit a piece on these in the end uh, that would make me happy. So a lot of great profit on this table. And I'm not going to put the other stuff on the table because we'll just jump over to, to phase three of this clearance because these are large items over here. And that's the shop vax. Now I paid right under $20, I think the $17, $18 for these. Normally $89.99. They are big. I got five of them. No, six of them. Yeah, I got six of them. Bought one, I'm just going to keep myself. This one, the, the packaging is damaged and been retaped. So I'll go ahead and keep that one for myself. But these are actually moving pretty well on eBay. Uh, right around the $80 mark. I'll probably put these about $69.99. Do FedEx shipping. They won't cost much to ship for the buyer. In the end, I still think I'll make minimum $40 a piece on these. So between the five I'm going to sell, that's, that's some pretty good profit. Uh, actually, at Home Depot, I, I picked up this water as well. It was only like $2. They had pallets of them. Um, <laughs> just throw that in there. Pretty good buy on water, I guess. The laptop is just my work laptop sitting there. But it's been a while since we got some awesome uh, retail arbitrage like this. So happy to, to have this stuff in my inventory. We'll get it sold, and we will make some great profit in the end on this. Like I always mention in my retail arbitrage videos... Uh, this clearance, sometimes the price dips a lot because everyone's buying it to resell. It, the chances are Lowe's are clearancing these out everywhere, and there's other resellers probably buying these by the thousand, and uh, the price will get driven down because of competition. But I have no problem holding on to this stuff for a year and then moving it. This is a great product. I'm going to make profit on it eventually. But that is going to do it for the video, everybody. I really want to thank you for watching make sure you hit that like button for me. Be subscribed. You can follow me on Instagram at flipping underscore junk. There will be more reselling videos coming. And this has been Wick. Till next time.